after five long years, one of the biggest crypto scammers reemerges. I'm talking about the face of the OneCoin scam, Dr. Ruya Ignatova. Around the time of probably around BitConnect or maybe even a little bit before, a little bit after that. I personally only learned about the OneCoin scam after BitConnect imploded, but essentially this was, this was a massive, massive scam. So much so that entire villages in, in small countries were pooling their funds together to buy this thing, this freedom enabling, everyone's going to be rich shit coin called OneCoin. Anyways, so the head the or the face of this coin essentially vanished, okay? And this is all detailed in an amazing podcast called The Missing Crypto Queen. I'm going to put a link to it in the show notes. I suggest everybody, if you don't know this story, it is absolutely worth the listen. It's completely mind-blowing. Um not not because like, oh my gosh, we're so surprised these people got scammed. No. What's mind-blowing is essentially the the human our psychology the essentially the the mental gymnastics that we go through in order to believe that we haven't been scammed anyways okay let's dive into this story because apparently dr ruya has has reemerged let's dive into it uk property linked to ruya ignatova shows first sign of her existence in 5 years uk's new company's house law Beneficiary owners of a property must be named in full instead of just the companies holding the property. The penthouse was previously held under Abbott's House Penthouse Limited, a shell company based in Guernsey. With the law requesting names of the beneficiary, Ruya Ignatova's lawyer listed her as the beneficial property owner in their filing with the UK financial regulators. This marks the first time since 2017 that there's been any concrete evidence of her being alive. Although she remains at large, the discovery gives investigators new leads to pursue to bring her to justice. And and I mean, like, look, people, th this is no joke. Um, you know, you can see right here, you know, you, you can see right here, she's on the FBI's most wanted list, conspiracy to commit wire fraud, um, conspiracy to commit money laundering, conspiracy to commit securities fraud. So, so I mean, like, this is... This is no joke. Ignatova, popularly known as the Crypto Queen, is responsible for one of the most massive crypto scams. She and her partner, Sebastian Greenwood, defrauded investors of over $4 billion with a supposed crypto token, OneCoin. The fraudsters claimed that the token would be the Bitcoin killer. Where have we heard that one before, right? Every single shitcoin claims to be the Bitcoin killer. Still waiting and promised huge investment rewards. But the project was found to be a scam. Giant shock, with no evidence of the coin ever being on the blockchain. That's where we're surprised. <laughs> no. Okay, anyways, Ignatova was last seen in 2017 when she took a flight in Sofia, Bulgaria, heading for Athena. Authorities have been looking for her since then, with the FBI adding adding her to its list of most wanted fugitives, which I just showed you. The Bureau was warned that Ignatova could have had plastic surgery to change her appearance. Okay, before we give our comments on this, I just wanted to go and look at the, surprisingly, even Wikipedia had, hey, look, you know what? Some of the information's right here, some of it's wrong. <laughs> that's, what's, that's what's great about Wikipedia. You can't t say, oh no, they're they're outright scamming. No, because some of the information is accurate and some of it isn't, anyways. Um, but this is not about Wikipedia, just my stupid observation. So here we go. Early life and education claims that, and they're, they're talking about, uh, Dr. Dr. Ruja. Okay. Claims that she may have studied at university of Oxford in England, give no details of college course or date of matriculation. In 2005, she earned a PhD in private international law from the university of Constance in Germany. Okay. So look. This is a great story where you have this this character, okay, Dr. Ruja, that that comes across as confident, okay, that that came across as well spoken, right? And then you and then you give and, and then you put the 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 little letters in front of the name, so now it says doctor, and hey, 
you can't not trust a doctor, right? They've got creds. But this isn't about doctor. This whole this whole thing isn't about uh, Ruya. Um, this this whole thing is really about human greed. Okay, because when you guys, if you guys decide to go and check out this podcast, the Missing Crypto Queen, you're gonna see that they get to a point in the story where she has completely vanished. Okay, they get to that point in the story where she's completely vanished, and unfortunately, so many people have dragged their loved ones their communities into this Ponzi scheme. That, that's, that's really what it is. They've dragged so many people into this Ponzi scheme that they actually, they can't even tell these people that she's disappeared and that their investment has disappeared as well. Because unfortunately, okay, unfortunately, we've seen evidence where there were people that came out and explained that this was a scam. And these people were found dead. Anyways, uh, this is look, human greed, right? We we all have the greed element. It, it's it's absolutely a scary thing, um, but it's only a scary thing if you don't know yourself and and you can't control yourself. Once we have that understanding that yes, you know, we can be greedy and and we can go and make terrible decisions based on that greed, we should be able to be more mindful of it. But the thing is this, okay? And this is how these scams. This is how these scams do it. You put in some money and then on the screen, it shows you every day that that number is going up. So why would you take it out? See, only the people that understand that it's a scam are going to be pulling their funds out. Everyone else that thinks this is real is leaving it in there, watching the number go up. Look, I, I, um, I, I, I remember there was this guy um, from, from the BitConnect days, okay? This guy literally paid for a whole entire family vacation with BitConnect. He thought that he was going to be living off of the payments, the weekly payments or the daily payments. I don't remember what they were. I think they were daily payouts. Okay. Um, he thought that he was going to be living off of that. So he went, took the whole family on vacation. While he was on vacation, BitConnect blew up and every penny he had in there was frozen and then became worth minus 99%. BitConnect wasn't the only example. There was another shitcoin that did the same thing called Davercoin. Okay, Davercoin did the same thing. One coin, the, the project we're talking about right now with this fake person, okay, that scammed people for $4 billion. This person did the same thing. And anybody who sat there who took two minutes to figure out that this was unsustainable most likely was able to save themselves from getting wrecked. Anyways, um, I definitely, I definitely feel for the, you know, for the people who got wrecked. Um, this particular scam, I mean, like all scams, I think, uh, they, you know, they prey on the vulnerable. But in in this particular case, um, they they scammed a lot of people in in third world countries, people that really didn't even have the the money to lose. Like again, if you watch that Missing Crypto Queen podcast, you will see that there are literally entire villages, towns that pooled their money together for this. And in some cases, they still don't know that that this is that that this isn't real and that they're never gonna get that back.